Oh, look at that guy's trying to balance. That guy's balancing. Nice. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, you can do this. The guy behind him also is trying. Yeah, Najaribu. Ah, come on, man. You messed. Badum and a balance too. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. <laughs> nice, good stuff. We are here in uh, France and Majabuya uh, France. Hi, Majabuya France. BMW. So we left Metz, a city in France, and uh, proceeded to head in another city in France called Nancy. Following its rise, uh, to prominence in the age of enlightenment it was nicknamed the capital of eastern france in the late 19th century population area of nancy is about a little over 500,000 inhabitants making it the 16th largest functional urban area in france but since um doing van life and uh, we arrived in nancy in the evening decided not to drive in the city but to look for a camper parking location before they all get full considering that France is one country that old folks love camping. Fortunately, found a spot, and uh, to my surprise, it was free for campers, a place called Richard Menil. The parking is free, electricity and charging is free, and so is the water, which is clean for drinking. And you can also take a shower. That's where we spend the night. As usual, we have to eat and uh, the only way is cooking but unfortunately i was tired from the whole day drive so just prepare the stove to warm up some leftover food for dinner or late lunch so to speak So, uh, the other time I showed you guys how to cook chapati in the campsite, um, then uh, we cooked to gali overnight. Was it to gali or rice? It was rice we cooked overnight. So today I'm cooking um, rather I am Roman pizza. The pizza yesterday it remained, so that's what I'll be eating right now for our lunch, but it's almost 7, 6.59. So I'll be warming pizza and um, doing it in a campsite next to vans as you can see outside. So, so first of all, as once you connect everything, uh, you open up, uh, yes, you open up the methane gas. Then once it's open, make sure it's also open here. Then once it's open, there's an there's a igniter here. I don't know if you can see this igniter. Click it, fire comes up. Then, uh, yeah, we're good to go. It's that simple. <laughs> Alright, so the pan is getting warm. And uh, here it is. Here's the pizza we bought yesterday. Um, this is more like beef chicken pizza then this one is more like vegan vegan pizza so i think i'll want three or four of them and uh, one of it i'm going to eat it cold So I think the reason for covering that so that uh, the steam 
comes on top and also warms the pizza on top. <sighs> well, hopefully that does the job. So I think we're doing just fine. Um, it's getting hot. So let me get the fix. And uh, since we cannot mix, so this is uh, beef. Pizza, this is beef. There you go. And uh, this is chicken. No, this is vegan. This is vegan. Yeah, there you go. So the food is warm. This is uh, this is beans we had uh, two days ago. And uh, just to keep the pizza warm, um, I have this rug. So to do. So this is what I'll do because we do not have a kitchen furniture. So I'll just do that, and I think that will keep the pizza from getting cold. So as I warm uh, the food. cooked some uh, cooked two days ago veggies a whole lot of vegetables in it Like I said earlier, this is a free campsite, and uh, that's the water area right there. That's the charger. That's another camper. There's another camper here. There's another camper. That's me. I like this one. This is the old school, and also we have another new school right there. Okay, quick question. Which among these vans is the best? Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, definitely number six. Which one is the best? Because uh, the first one is modern camp life. This one is old school. This one is more of a... Uh, mm, modern van but not modern van life this one is more like um we are hidden no one knows what we're doing this one is van life but more like old school ish then also more like hidden but still you can tell it's van life then this one is the really modern van life but there you go van life in france
Good morning. Oh, it is the fifth day, the sixth, so to speak. And uh, I just have some information I didn't relate to you guys. It is uh, no glass, so don't come with your beer bottles here. This is the map. Uh, it's called Villa de Richard Menil. Some, some. Then, uh, yeah, there you go. Villa de Richard Menil. So I think the person who owns it is called Richard or something. Then it says water filling forbidden. So do not come here to fill your water. And uh, also says uh, station is maximum 72 hours. So the maximum you can stay here is 72 hours. And we're in the middle of a forest, but this on the other side uh, is an estate. So we came one, two, three, plus us, four, five. And there's also another company behind. There's the dustbin. Here's the water filling point. Only to wash and uh, the cars. And uh, here's the uh, the electricity station to fill your for your cars and everything. And uh, more information about the camp. After breakfast, definitely. Instead of going directly to the highway, passed through the neighborhoods of Nancy, then had to hit the gym. Get fit because van life ain't for the week. Either you incorporate your own way of working out or you can go to the gym. But since I'm in Europe and uh, I have a premium gym membership at a gym called Basic Fit and they have gyms across Europe. And with premium membership, you can go to any gym in Europe. They have hot shower, massage seats, enough weights and machines for use. And of course, free Wi-Fi. And most importantly, the gyms open 24-7. Or rather, most of the gyms open 24-7.
after the gym the session was definitely fantastic so the next destination is switzerland which is happened to pop in my mind because it was not planned for so don't miss out the next video driving from france to switzerland thanks a lot for watching on to the next one Peace.